Hello everybody, uh, we are here with Chibucho uh, Carlos Santos preparing for Sensei graduation with our dear Sidoshi, Sidoshi Jordan and Sidoshi Juliana and I am trying to help here also uh, Sensei Rebecca here with some precious information, some precious concepts and ideas coming from the season tradition. In this case we will be treating concerning something about Kopo Jutsu, an ancient method called Hobu. This Ho comes from uh, Aruku, that is to walk, and this book comes from uh, Take, that means uh, war or military. Then in, in a group this Hobu means like a small step, a step forward or uh, a sword ranch. Then for this method, the most important thing is the way we enter and the, and the step forward that uh, the Tori, the, the Kopo Jutsu practitioner, will perform. And in this case, I will ask Carlos Sando that will act, uh, that will act as, uh, as Uke, that uh, try to perform right now a slow Omotenuki. Okay? In order that Rebecca San, that will act this sensei as uh, Tori, will do the following. We will uh, cover this idea by steps. First of all, I will ask only to draw, to go forward, the whole throat, please, with uh, Sayabiki, okay? And this is the right moment when the uh, Tori, in this case, Sensei Rebecca, will do this, like using the hands as a sword, stopping. And this will avoid that the draw of the sword will cap. In this case, we'll stop, we'll uh, grip the handle with the left hand and we'll take profit of this situation making a strong movement, a strong strike of the elbow right to the hand. This could break, of course, the bones of the hand and take out the, the, the sword. But this method is not restrained only to this, uh, to this idea, of course, we could apply in, uh, in different kind of, uh, of draws and different kind of situation. But of course, in this way, please, right now, please perform the Yokonuki. And Rebecca san will perform in the same way. We'll go forward with a small step, step forward with the right foot, and here the hand will stop like a line that avoids the attack. Please, here, entering. Covering, he has, she has here this, the the this situation, and right now go on tante and ha, trying to have the most powerful uh, on this distance, this close range. She will try to strike very hard at this point, in order to uh, to make uh, the sword be loosened from the hand. This is a basic, this is a basic idea, but of course we could go for different situations. For example, please write some, I will, I will, uh, I will help in the other to, to develop this. From this situation, when he tries, for example, Omotenuki, okay? When we are going here, of course, in the first moment, we have been doing that. But of course, we could, for example, going on this situation, striking, striking, and right now we have this for breaking here. And of course, entering, entering, having this grip in order to break and strike again. This could be applied, of course, in every kind of situation. For example, in Yokonuki, the same idea. A small step in order to get closer, the brands get near from him. And from this, of course, entering here, but entering on this point striking, passing to the other side, in order to protect with this Ude, striking, striking, striking at this point, and of course from this, breaking here, the same point, the same, the fingers, and also all the hand. This is a weak area, and the purpose of Kopo Yutsu in most of the times is to, uh, to cause uh, injuries that avoid him in a recovery, in a future recovery, to handle, to grip again other weapon. Not only in that battle, not only in that, uh, that uh, confrontation, 
but also in the future because the rest it's like a way of causing fear to the to the rest of the of the of the of the companion of the allies because don't know how he has been this all these bones uh, so broken and it, it's impossible to recover from this injury then this is what is called uh, hobu i hope you like it. Thank you very much for following me. Bye.